Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan. We're joined on the phone by Peter Bookbar, Chief Market Analyst with the Lindsay Group. All right, Peter, welcome. Good to chat with you again. Uh, Thanks, you say Brian. that the uh, divergence between small caps and some of the higher yielding names will be a key theme heading into next year. Why? Well, higher, higher yielding bonds. If you look at small companies, the high yield market right now in the South that it's experienced over the past week, obviously coincident with selling and investment grade and, and, and U.S. Treasuries, is a rise in cost of capital. And while I understand the enthusiasm for small cap stocks because they're less sensitive to dollar strength, uh, the index is populated with a lot of biotech and financials that have uh, participated a lot over the past week, the higher cost of capital, higher interest rates on an index that is very overvalued, priced at about 24 times next year's earnings, I think is a divergence that can't last that long. And either uh, yields are going to calm down and, and bonds will bounce back, uh, where this 11% rally in six trading days in the Russell uh, is going to reverse itself. Yeah, and, and um, we're looking at a chart right now, and you've got the mix here. Where do you see, when you say reversal, I mean, what kind of extreme move are you talking Is it a mellow move? Is it a lengthy move? What do you see? Well, th th this market doesn't know mellow. It's been violent, the, the bipolar reaction, particularly over the past week. And I don't think that that's going to necessarily uh, reverse in any subtle way. I'm not saying we go straight back down again. Uh, I'm just saying that these moves are pretty violent, and uh, I would expect uh, more violence to continue as people digest, first, what Trump is going to do, and, and secondly, what I think more importantly is how uh, interest rates um, go from here and whether the, the rise is the beginning of something much more. Are you surprised by the magnitude of the shift across all asset classes in five, six days? Yeah, it's pretty astonishing. It tells you how uh, badly positioned many people were. Obviously, the, the election was a surprise to many, and, and that was reflected in this bad positioning. Uh, what shocks me the most is the rapidity of the rise in interest rates, even though the direction is where I've been thinking it would go uh, over the past couple months. I think the July low in sovereign bond yields uh, was the low in this 35-year uh, bull market, and that a bear market has, has resumed. It's going to take time to play out, but um, uh, the rapidity of this rise in rates uh, definitely shocked me, even though the direction did not. All right. I like the I like the honesty as well, Peter, because you ask six, six people and uh, five of them will tell you that they all knew it was coming. Uh, Peter Bookfar, thank you very much for yeah. joining us on Trading Nation. We'll speak Thanks, soon. Brian. All right. Thank you for watching Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan. We'll see you next time. Take care. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.